episode four. Where is the wind blowing? Yeah, so Shay has an obsession to kill uh, one of the people that is responsible for her family death. She wants to avenge her her murdered family members. That I might be wanted for a murder. Allegedly. Allegedly. Then you just make sure to stay. Yeah. So the rest <laughs> Never of the admit group to anything, here, Chris. <laughs> the rest of the group here knows you uh, butt chugged the one dude. So. Well, we do. We were aware. Wait, is that what caused him his death? We don't know. Not fully spoken, but you guys all are like, well, oh. <laughs> he's the honeypot. Hey, <laughs> honeypot Stevens. Over like the last few days of space travel, have you shared your other obligations at all to the group? I mean, yeah. Okay. They would know. Uh, Squeak, what are your obligations? Addiction, obviously. Everybody knows about that one. And then betrayal is my other one. That what was that dude's name? Ashley Larry. Fucking Ash Lawrence betrayed me. <laughs> so I basically have situational ADD. I can't stay focused on the task at hand. That's not an obligation though, is it? Maybe it is. I'm not sure. I don't remember. Yeah. I have two motivations but no obligations. Yeah, you fall into the same category as Clay. Yeah, betr betrayal is uh addiction and betrayal are the first two on the obligation table. One through eight and nine through sixteen. Okay. Yeah, then Patrick has his addiction that we all know very well about. And well, that's not a secret to anyone. <laughs> his, what's his magnitude on that? I feel like his magnitude needs to be beefed up in the number of, m number of times he's like been fucking face down ass up in the bathroom. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's high. <clears throat> the mechanic is, as a total, with the group and everything, you guys are over 100, and when you're over 100, that's total like group plus each individual one. <laughs> you guys can't spend experience, you can get experience though. And I'm gonna roll a D100. Ooh, so 13 means the group obligation triggers, which means you guys all have minus two strain for this session. Ah. In a, a narrative, from a narrative standpoint, you guys are uh, internally rattled about like the height, like you just pulled off a big heist, you just left a big guy, you just floated a casino mogul out in the middle of nowhere. In order to bug Manon. <laughs> Stole a bunch of money. You guys are a little on edge. I need to see if I have any drugs in my... I have to pop something to... Oh, uh, she might have to dose up. Calm, calm my nerves. Um, that's uncurable strain too, by the way. It's permanent for the round or until yeah. we get our shit. So, like, essentially your threshold's down by two just for this session. Yeah, I got two Evan Push Spice and two Glitter Stems. Who wants to toke up? Alright, um, you guys are in warp speed, but like, you know you're approaching Korriban. Yeah. And, uh, the whole reason we're coming here is to meet up with the drug hookup from, yep. uh, Kay. Shay's past. Yeah, Shay's hey, a well, dirty little girl. Give, give me a second, give me a second, I, I need to go get my... <laughs> Chris, you wanna let people know about your contact here on Korriban? Yeah, so, I I was made aware of, uh, Sartha's presence uh, on Korriban several years ago. Mid-level mid mid-level drug runner uh, would be interested in the, the quantity that we have. How many years ago? <laughs> Three? Okay, so not too long ago, but long. Maybe if that fits into my character's backstory. <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time you were on Korriban? Not too long ago. I would say like three years max. I have a question. my backstory. Roughly, okay. how long has have we been together as a group? Has it just been like a wild week? Have yeah, we just had a real a wild... longer than a week. <laughs> <laughs> we'll say two weeks. God, it's been a wild ride of a week. <laughs> Good old Meriquai. Yeah. Meriquai. Piece of fuck. <laughs> Big piece, piece of, of fuck. Big <laughs> <laughs> old smoldering. You guys are approaching Korriban. It is a cold and dry, Same. mostly red, Planet, like kind of red, like Marzy, uh, mountainous, a lot of canyons. Um, it's a. Uh... Have we all played Kotor? Yeah. So we've all been there. <laughs> we've all been there. We've all fucking been there. We've <laughs> been there, man. Does somebody want to roll knowledge? I do. I also want to try to get in tune with my rock on this journey. Clay, actually, you should roll knowledge. Okay. Okay. What well, kind? For of... everyone, roll knowledge lore. Fuck it. Oh shit. Bam, bam. Shay and <laughs> the Wookiee for some reason. Yep. Uh, <laughs> I know this. I know this. They know that Korban <laughs> is a place of old Sith tombs mostly. Oh. There's a lot of uh Oh hell Oh. 
Do I feel anything? As we um, drop Kroos, Kroos, he says. Kroos. As we get closer? <laughs> you don't, as of now, from the ship, you're still, you guys are still in like warp speed right now. But it's coming to an end. Alright, uh -huh. can I... Tell us about Cholgana, the actual planet that we're trying to get to. Oh man, the Cholgana guys. It's really, your home world. It's a beautiful place. I grew up there and my parents... They were hunters there, and they hunted these big cats called Nexu that we have, and they're amazing. All the coolest gangsters and different black market people want these to sell them. Me and uh, my I friend. look at him and I say, well, we should sell some. And then the illegal Nexu trade? <laughs> <laughs> they're not that easy to catch, guys. My parents died. Good. On a hunt. <laughs> 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 Play begins to weep. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was a long time ago, guys. Long, long time ago. He looked sadly into the floor. So you had a vision recently. How do you feel about that? I spent most of my young life looking for something with my uh, my master on Trogana, and we never found it. But the vision felt like it was probably something like what we were looking for. So I kind of have just. I'm excited about it, but I'm also kind of scared because I'm not sure what's going to be in there. But I, I feel like I have to go. But it's going to be tough because the forests are really dangerous and wildlife is aggressive. Yeah, okay. But I'm also experienced in exploring, so I do need new climbing gear, though, guys. I, I lost mine in the heist. All right. At the end of this Cholgana story, you guys are coming out of warp speed. A trance of how good of a story it was. <laughs> <laughs> you see this big red planet in front of you. Redder than I thought. Look how red and mountainous it is. I look over towards uh, Warbler Arho. Oh, they're probably gonna be hot. It's cold. Probably gonna be hot, he says, <laughs> not knowing. <laughs> <laughs> Your comm starts beeping. Ring, ring. ring. <laughs> it's just ringing. Ring, ring, <laughs> ring, ring. Do you think that's your person? Ring, ring. <laughs> <laughs> We may never know. Ring ring. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and answer the... Yeah, hello. Hello, answer Rux. the frequency. Rux, Rux answers the frequency. <laughs> it wasn't going to be a phone ring. It was just going to be like a text message. Oh. But... You guys are kind of floored at Steve French's uh, timing with the encrypted message. He comes out of the back room. Hey, guys. <laughs> you know, he wakes up every day. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, guys. Bonds. Hey. He's all strung out. And yes, Steve French doesn't wake up. He comes, too. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't woke up in years. <laughs> <laughs> Well, anyways, this message comes through, and it just says, I'm on an in, uh, encrypted uh, frequency, but I'm just letting you guys know that Cloud City is <laughs> <laughs> really not in a good spot. You guys' are, faces are all over the news, and it's being kind of broadcasted throughout the galaxy, and the nickname they've gave, given you for, like, the clickbaity headlines are the Cloud City Kleptos. Oh shit! And uh, say about about I don't have a problem. You guys have lots of problems. <laughs> then it just says, like, I have to go now. This is all I could get out to you guys, but I just want you to know, like, it's from Stim. It like is signed. Uh, dash oh, Stim. Stim at the bottom. Stim's a friend. And and you I know that, heard that name in a long time. It's been Class like seven eight. days. <laughs> it's, been, <laughs> yeah, it's been like four days since we last heard from Stu. <laughs> it's like a wild out week, guys. We are we're like a movie. So, Chris, are you contacting Start the Mewart since you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I would assume that I have some sort of like an email address or email or yeah, Facebook <laughs> or something. Yeah. So you like Facebook a WhatsApp. Messenger. She hits you back pretty quickly. <laughs> you fucking Facebook message this bitch. <laughs> She hits you back and is like, you trying to slide into the DMs again? Just honey pot? <laughs> yeah. This is your code talk. This is the code talk that always happens. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Miss Sartha does the, like, the quick greetings with you, like, I haven't heard of you for a while, blah, 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 a lot is going on. Shoots you some coordinates to land on Korriban. Boom! I hope you know this bitch well enough. 
I hope there's no surprises waiting for us. I do. She doesn't. But she tells you that she does. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. fucking classic Sartha. <laughs> I got a fucking surprise for you. <laughs> just nothing. <laughs> just nothing. Steve French, at this time, you get in a call on your comms. You look down, you kind of see it's from a good old buddy, Hank. It just says Hank in your uh, caller ID. <laughs> yeah, man. The future. And uh, <laughs> you don't want to take this in front of the rest of the group. All right. I'm going to go over here. i got to answer this phone call. Ring, ring. <laughs> <What>? Hey, Steve. <coughs> uh, hey, Frank. It's Hank, it's your good buddy Hank. How's it going, Hank? <laughs> it's like a prank clip. <laughs> Come on, don't pretend like you don't know me. We were, we're best buds. We're best buds. <laughs> <laughs> like he literally has no recollection. <laughs> <laughs> he cannot physically remember. You're not on drug skin, are you? You're not on drug skin, are you? No, uh, not right now. That's probably why I made the mess up. <laughs> oh, look, look, I heard oh, you. Look, look, I heard you. You know, I've seen your name around, and I've heard you ran into some cash, and I, I, I need some oh, cash. God. You need some cash? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Maybe I can help you out. Could you send me... Call it a flat 10,000. Uh, let's call it a... Let's find out what, what's going on. Are you in trouble? Um... <laughs> no? Uh... I'm gonna need some more information. Come on, man. You, you know what I've done for you. Look, I went. I did some time for you. And... Look, you know, you know me. My name's Hanky Handguns. That's the nickname you gave me, man. All right, man. I'll send it your way. All right, thanks, Steve. I knew you could count, count on you. He sends you bank information. Or I guess we're on. We're under the premise that we can just send credits to people. Throughout the house. Just like, just like Venmo. Yeah, we have Venmo. <coughs> yeah. Future Venmo, so it's even more high tech. Yeah, it's right. nudes too. I'll send it to you. All right, take it out of your. Dude, sign it with a dick pic. What He's super excited. Have individually? And Miss and Hank hangs up and he thanks you. I'm a uh, I'm down to 143,000. Who gave the druggie all our money? <laughs> he won the race. Well, right, but like but, I, well, I drove out of the sky with a sword. Yes, you did. <laughs> I thought, I thought what that do you mean you should have fought harder for yourself. You're, I, you're, I, you're I, your best advocate, Clay. I thought the money would <laughs> split five ways or whatever, and that's what I ended up with. Yeah. You did not think that. You guys got more because you piloted. You guys didn't give us any of that. Pilot. Yeah, we... No, 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 no. The race was like 15000 and then the stealing the stuff or stealing the credits gave us money to split. How much does everyone else have? 80-something. Yeah, yeah 83. 83. Like 86? I swear to God, I didn't just write this number down. Well, I have 83. You Everybody wouldn't... else has 83. Yeah. Go down to 80 something. Right. Now 70 something. 73. I forget how much. If somebody could I'm find how much you guys got. Whoa, 751, Pat. <laughs> All right. Uh, All right. You guys are headed down to Corban. As you're entering the atmosphere, it's kind of like not sandstormy, but like just like. It's not a like pretty place. It's windy. Yeah. It's dusty. Like Mars. Like a mountainous Mars. I don't know how. Mars has Mars. mountains. Picture canyons. Reverse got mountains. Those, got those too. Well, got both of those. Picture Mars. <laughs> okay, I'm in. <laughs> and as you're getting closer to these coordinates, you see like a couple scattered tents out and about, but there's not like a civilization here. And then in the dis, in the like short distance, you see. I pulled my gun out. A bigger. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I'm holding it. I'm ready. Out. I'm fucking ready. You're still on the ship, too. Um, <laughs> I still you see, like, a out. bigger camp, like, upon, like, closer look, it looks almost like, like ex excavation has been being taken place. Yeah, so you land near this little tent, this landing spot. We're supposed to sell our drugs here. <laughs> Maybe. Let me do the talking. I know a good spot for this. So we land. 
Yeah, you guys landed. He's like the Hoosiers of the galaxy. Oh, so they're terrible people? Hey, what race is Sartha Muir? I would assume human because it's Korriban. He's one of the long lost Sith. Chris, you recognize her? She is standing outside of her, this little tent. What are your guys' first reactions to is, landing? Well, is, is that her? He would possibly recognize Shay, so Shay <coughs> would, you know, step up and kind of, like, reintroduce herself, I guess. And, uh, Shay is pretty straightforward, so she just says, We're, I'm, I'm here, uh, wondering if you would want to do business with me. We have some weight to unload. I was standing mysteriously with his hood up. Are you guys all outside of the ship? Yeah. yeah. And, like, his, his hood blowing in the sand, his, like, AP we'll thing stay blowing on the ship. in the wind. And his course gets everywhere in my Wookiee fur. <laughs> You're staying on the ship? Yeah. Okay. That's you lettuce. Thank you. Perception, Mason. Oh, oh buddy. <laughs> Alright. Oh, oh, God. Buddy. God. <laughs> You're gonna be kidding me. Get it. <laughs> oh. bah, 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 bah. What is this for? <laughs> you don't see anything. Do I, I to? try to perceive something? <laughs> the, the advantage is there's no sand in your fur. No, uh, he stayed on the ship for now. Okay. So I gave him a perception check. I'm gonna go look for some drugs. Do not go look for some drugs. The rest of you are approaching this tent. When I say tent, um, it's like a... Definitely like a living situation, but not like a little tent. It's kind of looks... Like, think of more like circus a gypsy. Tent. Yeah, circus tent or like a... Not... Well, not necessarily circus tent. But like... like trapeze you, inside? You guys could all enter it. Like, are we talking like, uh... Like a commander of a like middle, a middle... Triple arm. S or like a medium shelter size. Like a, like a Game of Thrones, like Jamie Lannister planning a battle tent? <laughs> yeah, but think of like a gypsy yeah. tent, though. So it's like, it's like not... incense and myrrh. What about the tent that Tywin got killed in? Mostly myrrh, actually. I didn't see that part of Game of Thrones. It was spoiler! Spoiler. I just wanted to bring it up to Chris. Uh, this when podcast it... has Game of Thrones spoilers <laughs> radically thrown in, so just buckle up. Um, when I say gypsy tent, like, it's not, like, when you guys are saying tents, like, those are all, like, um, like, it's like a bunch militaristic of tents. Yeah, it's, together. like, it's, yeah, exactly, like, it's put together, what you guys would assume, by Miss Muir. Are there other people have... about? Like, does she have cronies? Are no. Are there other people? No, you do notice there's a collar on her neck. That is oh. glowing. Oh, sh like a the choker? crone has become the crony. Is it is it a sexy choker or is it, it is like a choker? A... Yeah, but I don't. I wouldn't identify it as sexy. Oh. Well, I, I think I'll make that decision. <laughs> okay, if you guys are into that. She's a lesbian. She's a she's like, anything. She's, yeah. He's just down. You down to lick some clit. Oh. Okay. And we're too far. <laughs> Anyways, Sarth the Muir kind of waves you in, recognizes Shay, waves you into her little humble abode, and does. And I guess you already t said something about drugs, but she she goes. Shay, well, I don't really have any credits I can give you for the drugs. It's it's a little different here than when you left. This is where you're from. Sort of. I was kidnapped and held prisoner on Corbin for a number of years. Number of years, that's backstory appropriate. I see. You know of a buyer? I do know of a buyer. I can give you guys information. It's hard for me to do business because I'm. And then she kind of points to her neck. Do we recognize do it as like a slave collar or something? Shay would recognize it as. Yeah. <laughs> A slave collar. Oh. What should we free them? We've got our own problems right now, guys. So let's dive into like how you know Sarth and you were you were captive on Corban for seven years. When you left, we haven't really gone into how you got out, but you eventually got out and escaped. Sarth and you did not escape and has been a prisoner since. Um you guys both were able or she was able to run some side stuff, but she cannot leave the planet. She has some freedom on Korriban, but that's like saying you have freedom in the Sahara Desert, kind of. Can't really okay. go anywhere. Sure. 
you would know that the, the collar, once it leaves a certain radius, um, activates like a lethal poison and enters the like nervous system in the back of the neck where it's attached and kills her. This is some saw shit. Okay. Yeah, it kind of is some saw shit. Hell yeah. Yeah, she does have a contact and she gives you one and it is on the wheel. The wheel? The, it's this uh, big space station with a oh, bunch imagine of cool it's stuff. Round. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's it's round for like, I think, gravitational rela- reasons. Like, yeah, they spin it so you stick to the floor. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So it's like this huge wheel, not like Halo ring size, but like a Mass Effect Citadel size. Like you okay. could live on there. Like a bunch of people live on there and don't leave, and like it's huge. <laughs> yeah. Fucking like neat is what it is. She gives you those, and then asks you for. She gives you those like um, that contact, and then also mentions. Rio is still here on on planet. I'll ask who's Rio. Some bitch. Oh. That was the person who was held shake captive. One of the people that was, yeah, that, that was, she was responsible. In yeah, she was in charge of it. Well, should yeah. we free the rest of them to piss off Rio? Uh, yes. No. Okay. So, Rio's a big she deal still. As you guys are in this tent, start the, starts to, like, divulge a bunch of stuff about how she obviously wants to leave, but is worried about the choker. Do they know what the choker does? Yeah. They do. They've and she's been around here for like Chris was captive for seven years. Yeah. She's been here long like she was here before uh Shay got there and then has been there. So she's like a long term person. <coughs> is older. I think you know, I have a cooking show on uh whatever. <laughs> Did some time. Did some on time oxygen. Yeah. Did some time in prison. She was a shooting show, show with an ex rapper. Yeah. She's on house arrest for. That's now a kid's football coach. <laughs> yeah, she's on Corbon house arrest. That's why she's got the collar. <laughs> yep. But she's yeah. got mad street cred. But, like, you can, she doesn't really <laughs> want to leave. She still is able to do business, essentially, drug muling and stuff. Um, but she does it, like, by proxy of. But then she can't leave. Problems. Gotcha. You put drugs in your own bum. Well, we have, put drugs we have, in your friend's uh, bum. Information. We'll come back for you soon. Next week, probably. She goes. I found something the other day. We were. uh... You would know that they dig for Sith artifacts. Like that's what their export is on Corvan. Okay. So like that's what the excavation crew is doing. She goes. I saw the entrance to it. Or what I think it looks like a temple, but it's out of it's out of my radius. I can't get there. And <coughs> you guys can explore it. Maybe there's something that can get this collar off me and finally get me off this planet. Oh, <laughs> oh, there it is. Earth was always thinking about herself. Yeah. Uh, okay. Give us the directions. It's hard to explain. One two I'll down to the one hundred four. I can lead you there, and uh, I can reach you to the end of my radius and point you in the direction. Um, beam? What's gonna, what's gonna be in there? We don't know. Um, start the pops, or chimes in and goes, Well, the ar- ar- temple architecture of the door looks like it had Brotherhood of Darkness markings, which has been said to be on this planet, but nobody's found it yet. Would I recognize that? To a lore. No. Brotherhood of Darkness, you say? Hmm. Yes, it's an old Sith organization. In the last decade of the Galactic Republic, Dark Ages. Are we allowed to keep Finders Keepers? Finders Keepers. Finders Keepers? <laughs> Finders Keepers? <laughs> Co says, confusingly. You guys can have whatever you find. We should go. <laughs> I found it a while ago. I just haven't anyone I can trust to go search it. Alright, I would like to tap into the force and use 4C. And I only have faint glimpses of the future at the moment because I'm not real good at it, but I'm foreseeing. How are you foreseeing? I kind of smell the wind, the breeze <laughs> of the sand, and this there's a, there's a smell that 
it's almost like when it's gonna rain, but it's sand. And oh, he's smelling it. He suddenly feels a shiver, and his eyes kind of glass over. You feel a shiver in your right arm as it goes kind of tingly and numb from your fingertip all the way to your shoulder and your dominant arm, whichever that is. Mm. Uh. And you feel the sense of power. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, so Ko kind of shivers and shudders a bit and kind of goes, Makes a O face. Yeah, he he gives the vinegar strokes. And uh, he looks directly into Sartha's eyes. Tell me where it is. Where's Rachel? <laughs> oh, should I do Batman for Co? <laughs> Where's Rachel? Where are the trucks going? <laughs> where is the wind blowing? <laughs> <laughs> she puts up her hood and goes, and kind of scurries like an old hag. Old hag, kind of. Hey, the scurry? old crone out into the <laughs> desert. I'll take note of my team leaving and then hurriedly follow behind off of the ship. <laughs> no one told me about leaving. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't even I'm consult to... <laughs> me. <laughs> I don't feel like an equal member. Ko puts his hood up in a similar manner. It felt like what everyone was doing. Alright, you guys are traversing for what feels like a couple miles. You guys go up these canyons, or up these mountains and down these canyons, like through these little paths that look like they've been traveled before, but um, as you're on this little adventure, Sartha says, I've walked here a thousand times to look at this temple land. I've always been Oh my god, is it going to be just outside her circle? Like 20 feet outside? And she's like, <laughs> god damn it! I'm so no, it's close. So she gets to this, her radius, and you see like this, like a marking on these rocks, and she stops walking. And there's like a, it's kind of like barren, and then there's these, uh, a canyon wall. So you guys are like at the bottom of a different canyon, and there's like a little canyon wall. About 200 feet away, that has a little. Like, you don't really notice it, but she points and goes. You see that, that rock? It's, it's like right next to that. I kind of look down her arm, trying to use her finger to point. Don't see it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it looks like a crack in the canyon, but you see that there's something there that doesn't match the rest of the canyon. That crack over there? Yep, that's it. You can tell from here. Nice squint. Well, I found it years ago. I haven't been able to, to get over there, and I've been doing my research. I, I think it's part of the Brotherhood of Darkness. I look at Ko and I say, boy, it'd be great if we had some climbing gear <laughs> out now. Ko, well, if depression had a look. <laughs> <laughs> that look would be written Ko's face. And she does it. This is as far as I can go. We'll come back for you. Thank you for all your guidance, old crone. Not that old. Middle-aged crone. <laughs> well, I have to get back. My my shift is soon. It starts not not scurrying. She's less excited. It's more like a stroll now. Starts heading back towards it, the way yeah. you guys came from. Shall we? <laughs> <laughs>